for the kind of work that he has been doing to Thank you to Ricky Kay for supporting a better, safer, more prosperous future. Ricky Kesh, our champion for nature. I have to take this opportunity. My brother Ricky, I'm really proud of you as, as always. Here was a man full of energy, who was ready to work with these young people and happy to bring hope back to their lives. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, the Leela Hotels uh, for making me a part of their family. Of course, they've got a huge commitment towards sustainability of uh, making, uh, like, you know, making the India brand shine all over the world. In fact, as it was said earlier that uh, it's one of the top three hotels in the whole world and uh, three times in a row. I think a big round of applause to Leela Hotel. And also, I'm really grateful that uh, for absolutely nothing in return, absolutely there's nothing that I've offered Leela in any way possible uh, they have constantly associated with me and I'm very grateful that, you know, that I'm part of the Leela family. Anyway, so coming to, uh, coming to what we are here for today, so, uh, so uh, I've, uh, the national anthem is a, is a piece of music that is very important to me. In fact, it's the most important piece of music for me, it's my favorite piece of music in the whole world. The first piece of music that I ever learned in my life since I was a human being. <laughs> is basically the Indian National Anthem even before I learned any lullabies or before I learned any nursery rhymes and, and things like that. And at the same time, I've collaborated with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, which is the most in-demand uh, orchestra in the UK, uh, a few times in the past. And in fact, my last Grammy Award-winning album, Divine Tides, uh, also the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra was an integral part. When it comes, coming back to the National Anthem, I have created multiple versions of the National Anthem in the past because as I said, it's a very important piece of music for me. So, uh, during my professional career of about 24 years, I've done three versions, uh, sorry, two versions in the past of the National Anthem. And of course, when I was an amateur musician, I made a lot of versions of the National Anthem. But uh, during the last uh, 24 years, I've done two versions of the National Anthem, one being in 2015. I created a version of the National Anthem which was dedicated to the forests and wildlife of India. Uh, because we as Indians, we all know that we are much more than just human beings. You know, India is not just human beings. When we speak about, about Vasudeva Kutumbakam, which is a the theme of our G20 presidency, Vasudeva Kutumbakam is not just about living in peace and harmony between all of us human beings. It's further than that. We have to widen the circle. It's about living in peace and harmony with all the entities on this planet. And that's what our ancient traditions teach us. That we have to live in coexistence with the forest and wildlife and also the elements of nature, the air we breathe, the land we walk on, uh, the... Uh, 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 and uh, the land we walk on and uh, the water we drink. So basically all the elements of nature is something that we have to live in coexistence with. So that is the version that we did and uh, that particular version was played at the COP21, that is the Paris Climate Change Conference in 2015. And then after that, uh, I did another version last year in 2020. So I do a lot of work with the United Nations and the Global Goodwill Ambassador. So while working with the UNHCR, that is the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, I created a version of the National Anthem with 12 refugee musicians. Now these are musicians who have been forced to leave their country for whatever reasons, under, some under dire circumstances, some with just the clothes on their back, they've been forced to leave the country. Some of them, they were made to leave the country just because they were musicians. <coughs> and India has given them a new home. Our government has given them a new home. And they feel very, very welcome in India. In fact, they feel that they've led a life in India much better than what they led in their country of origin. It's completely self-funded. No entity is involved. It's 100% self-funded. Uh, self so what I want to do is that, and the reason why I've kept it self-funded, the reason why I've not involved anybody financially in this particular project, is that I want to give it as a gift without any... Thank you. I'm extremely excited about this, this uh, particular uh, version of the National Anthem. I wanted to create an epic version of our Indian National Anthem, a huge version of our anthem. I'm, uh, the National Anthem for me is a very, very important piece of music. It's the first piece of music that I ever learned as a child, even before I learned any nursery rhymes or before I learned any, uh, you know, uh, any lories or lullabies. The National Anthem was the first piece of music that I learned. So it's in my blood. And uh, so then when I got this opportunity that let us create something which is huge. Uh, I thought, why not record it with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in London? 
It's my favorite orchestra in the whole world. And I've collaborated with them in the past. My previous Grammy Award winning album, Divine Tides, had the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. So, and of course, an added bonus was that, you know, it's a British orchestra. So, you know, to, so to get a 100-member British orchestra conducted by an Indian composer, so I'm basically leading the orchestra. And, uh, and to get them to perform the Indian National Anthem was, was an amazing experience. And to listen to them singing Jaya Hai was very, very nice. देश का जो सम्मान हमारा सबसे बड़ा सम्मान है उससे कितनी दूर आप समझते हैं जो पद्म भूषण हमारे जो देश के अवार्ड हैं आप देश के लिए कितना काम भी कर रहे हैं इसमें इसके लिए काम कर रहे हैं तो आप क्या मानते हैं कि वो अवार्ड कितनी दूर है आपसे और कितने आप एक्साइटेड हैं कि उसको लेकर देखो अवार्ड्स अगर अवार्ड्स को देखा जाए तो अवार्ड्स का रिएक्शन लोग किस्म क्या होता है एक रिएक्शन the second type of award is uh, second type of reaction is that you know that uh, okay i've been given this platform you know and more and more people because of this platform will listen to my music they listen to the messages of my music because my music is always based on a message either environmental or positive social impact or celebrating our country so that is what i think awards are important for this particular purpose but the important thing is that one should not go when the awards come to you you should fully appreciate the award and you should use that award to do better work and to do bigger work and to work with better people but at the same time i think uh, i think one should not look after so for me i do not look at it that i want to win this award or i want to win that award but when i get the award i'm very very happy to mujhe ab 3 mahine lage ye national anthem ko version ko create karne ke liye kyunki so musician hai har musician ko kuch bajana padega right so to wo likhna padta hai aur wo musician ko dena padta hai aur thoda experiment karna padta hai ki सब लोग साथ में अगर बजाएंगे तो पूरा यू नो अच्छा सुनने को मिलेगा कि नहीं और आपने तो सुना प्रीव्यू नेशनल एंथम का आपने देखा कि स्टार्ट होता है बहुत बड़ी तरह से फिर कम हो जाता है फिर कम हो जाता है फिर वापस बड़ा हो जाता है तो ये डायनामिक्स है यू नो ये नेशनल एंथम के वर्जन में कि कभी कभी बड़ा होता है कभी कभी छोटा हो जाता है फिर बड़ा हो जाता है तो ये सब एक्सपेरिमेंट करने के लिए अब तीन महीने लगे लेकिन रिकॉर्डिंग सिर्फ एक घंटे में खत्म हुआ क्योंकि सबके सामने जब शीट्स होता है तो वो बजाते हैं एंड देन वो रिकॉर्डिंग हो जाता है तो रिकॉर्डिंग फिल्मिंग वो सब एक घंटा ही लगा तो तीन तो मैं बहुत बार लंदन जाता हूँ कॉन्सर्ट्स के लिए रिकॉर्डिंग्स के लिए मैं बहुत बार जाता हूँ तो मैंने देखा कि आजकल लोग इंडिया लंदन में ही नहीं दूसरी जगह में भी फ्रांस में इटली में अगर देखा जाए स्विट्जरलैंड में यू में सब जगह जो जैसे इंडियंस को देखा जाता है पिछले कुछ सालों से वो बहुत ही डिफरेंट है जैसे अगर इंटर गवर्नमेंटल जैसे पिछले साल बहुत सारे सालों पहले लाइक यू नो इन द पास्ट इंडिया हमेशा उस पर गाना बनाओ वो वैसे गाने में बिल्कुल नहीं बनाऊंगा अगर अगर पूरा अलाइनमेंट है कि ये आइर देशभक्ति के लिए है नहीं तो एनवायरनमेंट पर है कोई सोशल कॉज पर हो मैं हंड्रेड परसेंट सब कुछ काम छोड़ के मैं करूँगा इंडिया में आई थिंक ए आर रहमान हंड्रेड परसेंट ए आर रहमान मेरे बहुत बहुत अच्छे दोस्त भी है और ए आर रहमान मैं क्यों मानता हूं कि वो सबसे अच्छा है क्योंकि उन्होंने सिंगल हैंडेडली पूरा इंडिया का म्यूजिकल लैंडस्केप चेंज किया है अपने फर्स्ट फ्यू फिल्म्स के लिए फर, फर, और और एवरी सिंगल कंपोजर मैं बोलता हूं एवरी सिंगल कंपोजर एवरी सिंगल सिंगर इन इंडिया टुडे हैज़ बीन इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाई ए आर रहमान इन सम वे और जो बोलते हैं कि हम ए आर रहमान का बिल्कुल भी इन्फ्लुएंस नहीं वो झूठ बोल रहे हैं क्योंकि ए आर रहमान का कुछ इन्फ्लुएंस है सब पर नहीं बहुत ही अच्छा लगता है बहुत ही अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि मेरे काम के लिए बहुत ही मोटिवेशन देता है और जैसे मैंने कहा हर एक ग्रामी के वजह से मेरी मैसेज जो एनवायरनमेंट पर है सोशल कॉजेज पर है उनको बड़ा और बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म मिलता है तो मैं बहुत ही आभारी हूँ और और हर एक ग्रामी अवार्ड मेरा देश के लिए डेडिकेट है